It's a Bill Strong Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, another performance from the concert they had with Linkin Park 2.0. Yeah. Uh, the new lead singer. We love her. Yeah, and yeah we're, we're in the camp with that. You know, I know it's a split camp. Some folks are like, eh, she ain't Chester. Yeah. Why she, would you compare it to well, Chester? Well, because he was such a big part. I I understand, actually. I do understand. Let's put it this way. There's a lot of other bands, I think, that I've seen them when they replaced the lead singer, and I'm like, not interested anymore. It ain't the I same. think I personally think that they've respect and given enough time to move on, right? That's true. I do think they did that. Because yeah, if did, it's too soon right. and they did this to Chester, I would be mad like you. Yeah, I agree. I feel like they were very respectful. And I think she's very respectful to recognizing that it's going to be big shoes it's, yeah. to fill. But here's the thing, right? I actually think they can handle this in perhaps a little bit better way. Here's my advice to them, right? Now, we listened to some of her songs already that she's saying, um, especially with the original you know, music that they had from back in the day, they shouldn't try to make her sound like the old sound. They should rewrite the music in a way that better suits her voice, better suits the times, and, you know, if you're going to give me, like, in the end, and I don't know what this song sounds like just yet. We're going to watch this live. You know, make it a variant. Make it feel like something different enough that people, oh, I like this new 2.0 version, too. Mm -hmm. All right? Because then you can at least pay respects to the original, and then you can also have appreciation for the new. Maybe even in concert, they could play the original and show montages with the old band, mm -hmm. and then she sings a new version. You can feel, whoa, I love this. Okay, new I like that second part that you right? said. Because I still do want to hear the I original. I do still, exactly. I'm a I think fan of it. Still I still want, want that. want to hear Chester. And I'm like, you know, it, you know, some people hate the hologram stuff, but I, I like montages of and throwbacks to like what the original sound is like. But you got to make the new sound new and they could do it they are filled with some of the best musicians i mean like mike he's not just a great you know rapper and you know actually i don't know what else he does keyboards and a bunch <laughs> of other stuff he does a lot but he's a he really good he music. plays drums too does he really yeah oh uh, well he also is probably one of the best producers out there he really mm -hmm. produces great music let him produce and you know what i'm saying you have a whole catalog of stuff that could be Made fresh again yeah. with her. Oh. By the way, when you hear some more cool reactions, make sure you subscribe. And if you want some comments, check out my fantasy show only for my fans. Dude just played a giant iPad. What's up, y'all? Yeah, what's up, man? How we doing down here? Such a nice guy. I don't know why. Doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. The design is trying to explain time. All I know, time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock takes life away. So unreal. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. You know, I actually think that this song is a better representation of what he does than what Chester does because it's much more about him rapping and carrying the beat mm -hmm. for most of the song. Actually, the original song was only the chorus where you had that like rah in it. They balance together. But yeah, this do. one was very yeah. balanced. It's like it was just like back and forth, back and mm -hmm. forth, which it was, you know, really it, cool. Yeah, they always had great balance. Dynamic in that way. together. So, trying to hold on, didn't even know I wasted it off to watch you.
those are fans right there. I put my trust. Very, I don't know. It felt very somber. Listening I know. I feel to, emotional at the end. <laughs> this, feels, it, this song always had more gravitas. I oh. feel like you know, and especially when you think about like in the end, it just the lyrics is like in the end, it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. this just feels like it was a, a really showcase for Mike. He was just out there having a good time. You could tell he was just really happy to be back back again. yeah performing. performing. You know, with yeah. his crew. as a performer. That's he really almost feels special. like a. Like a like a proud father, oh. <laughs> doesn't he? He's like, oh yeah, I man. know. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. He's really proud of Emily and everyone. Love. I actually think this is an example of what I was just saying. I like this take. She covers some parts of it fits really well with her voice, but there's other parts where you could tell like she's deliberately trying to sing lower laid than back. normal, and it, it's almost like a little laid back, and it doesn't quite fit her style. Like this could have definitely been tweak to fit her vocal range her ability mm, to seem mono- like melodically like, even i feel like during this time it's more of like mike and the fans or just like bringing the memories back that's like, true i can see that but you know yeah. so much of this new announcement is about her and the new players so that's why i assumed that they decided to release this it was a showcase it's a showcase for her we all want to hear more of her more 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 that's their next song Oh, more, more, more. 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 Okay. 